welcome back in today's discussion I'll be going with how to get the square root of a number and the difference is how to get the square root without using pen questions will look like this square root of 1936 is how much now if you are going with the existing process that I'm making a 4 here I'm making a 4 here I'm making a 16 here and so on wait for a second because that's not required even though many people who have got through bank PO they also suggest this kind of a principle only I feel pity on those bank POs because they could have got it more easily so what I do is here I go with the technique that even though we know all that 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9 and so on what I'm saying is if a number is having 1 in its last digit let me say it is 61 this one square will always end in 1 it may be any big number maybe 5, 7, 6, 1 ka whole square it will end in 1 so which other number will end in 1 this is 1 the other number in the series if you will see the other number is 9 so once I am coming to know that 1 square is ending in 1 just give a circle to this circle of 1 is 10 minus 1 that is 9 so 9 square will also end in 1 that's it so if I am finding a number a very big number ending in 1 it will be the square of either 1 or circle of 1 that is 9 similarly if a number is ending in 9 if you just recall that 3 square is 9 then this will be the square of a number ending in 3 or circle of 3 that is 7 so any number ending in 9 that will be the square of a number which is ending in 3 or is ending in 7 so if this is 9 it's either 3 or it's 7 they are related 4 square is ending in 6 6 square will end in 6 4 and 6 are related like 4 plus 6 is 10 2 plus 8 is 10 so both of them are ending in the same digits 1 and 9 will end in the same, same digits I believe I could make it a bit clear to you but if it is not done just give me a ring it's easy so the question was 1936 square root is how much for this I will separate two digits in cube cube roots I was separating three digits here I'll separate two digits so one is 19 one is 36 now as this number is ending in 6 if you recall that 6 square is 36 if you recall that 6 is ending in 6 then I told that it will the next number will be 4 complement of 6 is 10 minus 6 that is 4 this will also end in 6 so if six, this is 6 these digits are either 6 or it is 4 the last digits now if it is 19 see this number now this is 19 just think two perfect squares close to this one is 16 and one is 25 now like cubes 
this is coming after 4 4 square so this is 4 this is guaranteed to be 4 it can't be 5 6 or anything so looking at this I'll just think of a number like 6 if this is coming to my mind then this is free to me 6 and 4 are related like 6 plus 4 is 10 if by chance you are not getting 6 square is 36 but you are thinking that 4 square is 16 and you are saying that this last digit is 4 then it will be 6 so once you are getting a number this is free to you so 46 and 44 these two are my choices now how will I know which one is correct now comes the second step <coughs> that I told that it's requiring one more step the cubes and cube roots were ending over here only <coughs> excuse me so now see this 19 number this 19 is close to 16 or is close to 25 obviously this number is close to 16 and between 16 and 25 which is the smaller number this is the smaller number so between 46 and 44 see this 6 and 4 which is smaller 4 is smaller this is the answer what I'm saying is looking at the question you will first select this is 6 or it is 4 and looking at this 16 you will select this this is 4 so there is a possibility of any one of this 46 or 44 now see this 6 and 4 and see this 19 19 is close to the smaller number so between 6 and 4 4 is smaller so this answer is correct I believe I am trying to make it clear even though my students do not get it so easily so here I go with the next one 5184 as this is 4 it will be the square of you if you remember 2 square is 4 so this right hand portion is 2 once I am getting this 2 I am getting another number free that is 8 which is complement of 2 now 51 just check 2 perfect squares close to that one is 49 one is 64 and as this number is coming after 49 which is 7 square this is 7 now check 49 is closer to which one 49 or 64 it's closer to 49 which is the smaller number between 49 and 64 so between 2 and 8 the smaller number is 2 as it's closer to the smaller number the answer will be the smaller number this is 72 if you want to know how if you ask me so if it is not 5184 but if it is 5187 or in other words this is an imperfect square what to do for that because normally my students ask me for that please go with my full DVDs thanks for watching